The multi-point flatten uh, background tool, it's very much like the color balance tool on uh, the uh, color menu, except the color balance tool, you just pick one point to neutralize the, uh, the background by left clicking on the image. Uh, the multi-point flatten tool allows you to pick an unlimited number of points. And what it does is, is based on the number of points, it generates either a, uh, well, it's a piecewise planar fit to the uh, background of the image through the points that you select, and then uses that piecewise linear sur surface to, uh, to flatten the background and uh, uh, make the overall background of the image flat. Uh, and it also uh, neutralizes the color at each point that you select. Uh, for the control points of that uh, correction surface. So let's see how this works. Yeah. <clears throat> Check the select background point and then just pick a spot on the image. How about down here in the corner? And what I've done is that for this point I've, I've neutralized that color and uh, applied that same change to the entire image and the balance type is additive, so what I'm really doing is, is adding or subtracting to make the color correction. I'm not scaling to make the color correction. If you want to scale, which it, sometimes it works well, but additive generally works the best all of the time. Uh, you can have a choice here. To, uh, you can either choose additive or scalar, but the default is additive, and that's probably what you want to use most of the time. Now, once you have a point, you can increase the red, or decrease it, increase it, and since they only have one point, it's happening to the whole image. Same with the green. Uh, let's go back and reset color to what it was initially when I clicked on the point, or you can make the image brighter or darker, but I only have one control point. Uh, so to add a little bit more control of where this happens, let's add a few more control points. Let's put one in each corner. And see the current control point is marked in yellow, and I can switch them by just clicking on the arrow or the plus sign. And then for whichever one's activated, I can make it brighter. And see now with more control points, I'm just controlling or making the the area around the current control point brighter or darker. Uh, let's reset those levels. Uh, something that's real handy is this balance all points to target. And if you select that, it'll take each one of the points that you choose as a control point and balance that to uh, the same background level of 5120, which is like a, a dark gray 20 which is a, a, a often used background level for for images. And now with, with this option selected, each one of these points is set to that background level of, of uh, approximately 20 on an 8-bit scale. And then you can still use these controls to, to tweak it a little bit. Uh, if you want to change to a different control and adjust it, just click on it and adjust the color or level sliders. If you want to adjust all of them as a group, you go from current point to all points. And uh, now you're making all of the points lighter or darker by the same amount. But it's keeping the relation between those points set uh, that, that was in effect when you were adjusting them as, as separate points. OK. And that's really about all there is to it. Uh, so if you have a gradient on in your image, you could use a couple of points and click. If the gradient goes from top left to bottom right, you might pick well the same points I have would work well, actually. And then uh, it'll flatten that gradient out. And you can go in and adjust the color at each point separately and do a, a real, really good job of getting rid of gradients 
and light pollution and things of that type. But it is a planar correction. Sometimes you need a curved surface to correct it. And if that's the case, you probably want to use this control point mask. Now you can use the control point mask with the planar background function. Um, <clears throat> and that's what we're going to do here. We've got uh, uh, four points selected and they've been set to a correction to use this control point mask to say let's just use this uh, multi-point correction out around the boundary and not in the center. Well the way you would do that would be uh, select the four center points and push in so that the change doesn't doesn't uh, isn't applied to the center it just helps you uh, work with the outside of the image only. So with this control point mask again the, the multi-point flatten tool whatever changes you're making are happening just where the mask is white. Now <coughs> Perhaps you had a, a light corner or a dark corner. Well, <coughs> what you can do to, to make uh, whatever correction tool you're using applied more or less is uh, go to the uh, separate point adjustment of this mask, make the mask darker, see, so it doesn't apply in that particular corner, or make it lighter. See, so, yeah, it's subtle, but uh, see here it's it, it's almost full effect in this corner. Here is no effect. And again, the operation I'm using this with is the uh, the flatten tool. Uh, it's also very handy to use this control point mask to uh, correct vignetting if you don't have a flat by using the uh, the micro curves tool with it. So you use micro curves to make an area like the corner brighter by uh, increasing the curve and just selecting the corner to apply it to. Okay.